Steps being taken to improve air travel between Trinidad and Tobago, Caribbean Airlines to upgrade its booking system, and a new feature added to the Tobago Museum. Info update. Bringing you the latest news, views, and, and reviews, reviews, along with responses, comments, and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. Officials from both Caribbean Airlines and the Tobago House of Assembly met earlier today to discuss measures to alleviate problems on the local air bridge. Coming out of the 90 minute discussion, both parties agreed to re-establish a joint task force to find long-term solutions to the problem. It was also agreed that in the short term, additional seats will be added. The Chief Executive Officer of CAL, Michael DeLolo, explains. Caribbean Airlines would also like to confirm that for the month of July, there will be 107,000 seats available, representing an increase of 15,000 seats over the same period in 2014. Furthermore, in August, we will deploy a total of 111,000 seats, uh, which has increased 16,000 for the same period last year. The Chief Secretary of London said both parties also discussed the possibilities of Cal having a dedicated service for Tobago. He said he has been informed that one currently exists. Basically, that, that, that model, if it, if it is, you know, effectively implemented, will take care of some of the concerns which we had, which is that you, you're running an essential service alongside a, a totally commercial enterprise. And therefore, if you mix it, you're going, to, you're going to obviously have challenges. The Joint Action Force will meet regularly and committed to undertake a study which looks at the travel patterns between Trinidad and Tobago. This is expected to facilitate better planning in the future. We're staying with the Airbridge to tell you that Caribbean Airlines said it will upgrade its passenger booking system. Omar Mills picks up that angle. What's known as the Amadeus Reservations system is expected to kick in soon. This is rated second in the top five airline operation systems in the world. It offers a number of features such as efficient booking management and an interface between physical and electronic ticket sales in real time, which suppresses irregular bookings. Carl's CEO explained how the system will benefit Tobago. The Amadeus system would allow customers real-time access to inventory on the airbridge and would allow us as well the tools necessary to be able to track our inventory and in a real-time manner display availability much more effectively to the traveling public between Trinidad and Tobago. He said the software will improve the airline's overall performance. The new system will be implemented in November. I'm Omudara Mills for Info Update. Switching gears, let's tell you that a new feature has been added to the Tobago Museum. Anika Springer has that story. A very detailed wooden carving of the bust of Calypso Rose has been added to the exhibits at the Scarborough Museum. Calypso Rose, who is originally from Bethel Village, has written over 800 songs and recorded more than 20 albums. The Secretary in the Division of Community Development and Culture, Dr. Denise Soyafat Angus, says the tribute to her is timely. Perhaps it is no better time for us to do something like this than during this period of us entering the heritage experience of our island. And perhaps there's no better year to do it in than this year where the theme is community treasures recognition. Calypso Rose was present for the unveiling. She's happy to be alive to witness the event. The kids, tourists, visitors, our nationals from Trinidad and Tobago and the whole Carib Caribbean island could come to visit my bust any time that they want to. It's an honor and thank God that it is being presented today. Calypso Rose is the recipient of over 20 international awards, including the award for magnanimous contribution to the culture by the Caribbean Arts and Culture Council and the International Caribbean Music Awards Lifetime Achievement Award. I'm Anika Springer for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Lois Vincent and you've been listening to Info Update.